Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today number 15 of this current series where I go around to notable Southern California eating establishments, get myself a meal. I'm heading down to Costa Mesa. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Got my bag, got my stuff. Let's head out. Yep, I agree, Big the Foot. It is a little overcast today. This is our exit. Arrived to the corner of Center Street and Placentia Avenue, an establishment which has expanded to quite a few different states as well as here in SoCal. But this was the first. It all started here. Now I have eaten at quite a few of these establishments, but have never set foot inside the original or ordered a meal from said location. The glasses are fogging up. Once again, started in the late 80s by three brothers, they opened this spot. And it started off kind of slow, but as the surf community started to embrace it, it really, really took off. And it's still around, going strong. Painted on the side there, it's a nice little mural. 1862 is the address. Oh, and right here is a placard where it all started, the first location. Okay, this says established 88. So that's the exact year, 1988. I do love some fish tacos. It's been a while since I had one. A very relaxed looking building. It was built that way on purpose. Just to put out the vibe, the chill vibe. We're not far from the beach, a few miles. They are open. Come in this way. This banner has been placed as for takeout, which is kind of par for the course. I almost, almost tripped over that curb right there. To gain access, I have to go along the porch. Here's another plaque. Here we go. A little more detail here. The three, the three brothers. Wing, Ed, and Mingo combine their love of surf and food to create the restaurant with an eclectic Mexican, Brazilian, Asian menu and a Hawaiian North Shore vibe. And one thing you will always see are stickers all along the windows. Current store hours, 11.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. And they have their items here. Ooh. Just hit my knee on the chair. A very relaxed atmosphere, to say the least. I like it. There is so much to choose from. I don't even know where to begin on the menu. There is also a phone order line as well, where you can pick it up. Oh man, that guy looks familiar. Being prepared fresh at the moment. Just waiting patiently. If you want to utilize the signature salsa bar, you gotta ask for it at the moment. It's not, it's not out for all to utilize. Old school style vision, vision skateboard here mounted next to the window. Didn't take long at all. Got my order in hand. Beverage and meal. Spoiler alert, I got three, I got three fish tacos. I believe rice and beans also come with the combo. Now there's a friendly flower out here, right off the porch. Always reminds me of the tiki room. This type of budding flower. I believe it's called birds of paradise. Don't quote me on that. It's in a good location. Saying, come on in. The style of the place totally adds to the ambiance. Right? Now to find, find a spot to, to consume. Got it ready to go, my to-go bag. I know technically in Orange County, some places will let you 
sit indoors, this one included. But I'm kind of digging the fresh air vibe of this series after picking up takeout. So I'm gonna stick with that for a while. Just for a little while. Won't be forever. I'm kind of digging it. It's a good looking building. Yes, I know. I know there's food in here. And I got my drink down here. My taste buds are already already starting to peel. Ooh, that's, that's a what is that? What is that? This is a oh goodness. Some creatures. I found a potential place less than a less than a mile from here. This is a sweet old classic bug. Marina View Park on 19th Street. Coyotes. It's a nice little piece of artwork there on that electrical box. Really kept up with the trimming of the hedges through here. Very nicely done. It's called the slopes. The states stay off the slopes. Oh, nice. A picnic table. It's got my name all over it. I mean, not technically, there's... The name Adam's not written on it, it's just a figure of speech. It's chained up to the trunk on this tree as well. It's like a good a spot as any, right? Wind is blowing quite a bit. I got my plastic cutlery there, napkins. I'm using my, opted for the Pepsi there in the paper cup to weigh this down. A little bit of salsa here, a little, a little topping. And I haven't, even, no spoilers, I haven't peeked in this yet. This is what we're dealing with. I got some tin foil type of item wrapping around. I got three different ones. Two of them are gonna be different. So two of them are gonna be the same. I got two different tacos. Two are one type and one is the other. Comes with some rice, garnish with a little of most likely this on top of there and some beans. Oh yeah, it looks good. All right, let's we'll unwrap it. The soothing sounds of yard work going on. Okay, this is what is neatly wrapped inside there. Got some sauces. This is, appears to be, no? Yeah, this is, fit. this is the fish right in there. It is not fried. It's grilled, which I am very thankful for. During the series, I've been eating a lot of burgers and fried food, and that will continue, but this is a nice kind of change of pace. Go on, they got the slaw on there as well. This trunk is gonna get a lot of air time. <laughs> Just the angle. Here it goes. Grilled. Mmm. Oh man. That is nice. That is real nice. Doesn't have that heavy, that heavy feeling when it goes down into the stomach. Mmm. That is good. After completing that one, I'm unwrapped this one. This is the 
the secondary of this doesn't look like slaw this almost looks like almost looks like cabbage I think it's lettuce but it's a different type it's got a little bit different cheese on there and I'm already starting to get I don't want to use the word full but I'm starting to I'm starting to think that this might be a leftover I might end up taking that home and just eating this and then eating rice and beans here on the spot I always forget the I always forget the sauce sometimes. You pour a little sauce. Oh, a little bit of drip. That's a little bit juicy. Get a little bit of this on there. Go. Come on out of there. Come on out. There we go. Got it all loaded. It's dripping now. It's dripping a lot, but I got it all loaded up. Going in. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love tacos in general, across the board, but a dang good fish taco is something to be admired and treasured. The three brothers were way ahead of their time, and it was the right decision. Because it is a very successful entrepreneurial decision, and there's a lot of happy, happy customers out there. The cheese on this one is a nice addition. I like the cheese on this one. That little thing just flapping around. Very subtle, but it's there. It's a subtle cheese flavor. Usually I'm not too subtle in my enjoyment for cheese, but this is nice. It's just it's just a nice little little touch. Almost like it's been peppered in. Mm -hmm. A lot going on over there. Mm. Oh, Lord. That is some dang good rice. Are you kidding me right now? Chock full of flavor. Might be this that's adding to it. Put a little bit more of that on there. But I think even with that salsa item, without it, it would still be good. There's a lot of flavor in this rice. Ooh, I should mix the should mix the beans down in there too. And get a little conglomeration for the old taste buds. Oh, having a tough time here. Total for all of this, the three tacos, rice, beans beverage, the little packet of the salsa I put on there, all of this combined, $16.02. The meal was two tacos, the drink, and I think for two or three dollars more I got the third. So if I would have not gotten this, which I will be taking home for a little leftover snack at a future time, it would have been a little bit less than that. I also did leave a gratuity, even though, you know, I'm used to when I go out a waiter or a waitress you leave a tip. I have been kind of carrying on with that even during these takeout times just kind of a force of habit and not sure where that money is designated if it goes to the cashier ringing up the meal or the cooks in the back and even if it does it but if it goes to the establishment during these times I don't mind doing it. I like this place. Looming directly over my head is a huge crow. Right up in there, a fowl of some kind. You could see him hiding in the, the tree branches. Oh, shuffling around up there. Don't even think about taking my leftovers, bird. And that worked. My statement worked. Hitchcock would be proud. I have opted also to take just the little bit I have left of the rice and beans in this package and take that along with me as well. I mean, I could kind of cram it all down into my belly, but 
I'm pretty comfortable right now. Obviously, during the course of this series, I've had to kind of alter my eating habits a little bit because I have the biggest meal, actually really the only full meal of the day. Normally before noon, I just have a light snack in the eve. In some ways, I think I might be eating less during this than how I normally eat because usually I will have, you know, occasionally a breakfast or usually a big lunch and then I will go out at night and get another one. But during this, because I know I'm focusing on this, you know, this daily series, current daily series, where I go around and check out establishments, I don't want to overdo it. It seems to be working. When I go lay down for slumber in the late, late night hours, I don't feel uncomfortable. So eating earlier, there might be something to it. Yeah, what do I know? Except for what I just consumed was, look, it looks like that, is that a marlin? It looks like that marlin is moving, waving around in the ocean. Is that a, or is that a bear? That's not a bear coot. That's not, what is that? It's, a, it's some kind of fish. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, helps keep you in the loop and update on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further and ring that notification bell. If you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know, this is a beautiful park. It lets me know if you care. And yes, they have been using a lot of leaf blowers. They have been using a lot of weed eaters and other accessories. But judging by the the looks and the manicured, pristine condition, I can see why they're here doing this. Because it looks beautiful. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. There's foliage in that sack. The vlog is over.